All right, I want to do a video here on um, Virgin Galactic, um, ticker symbol SPCE. And a friend of mine showed this to me towards the end of January, um, moving into February. And particularly what we were looking at was this ascending triangle formation here with the top right around $20. Um, and then we had, we had this, maybe, okay, we had this, um, this bottom right down in here. Uh, and, you know, we were just looking to see this squeeze and how it was going to pop. Um, and if you've been following this stock, I'm sure if you've been, you know, watching this video, you've been following this stock. Um, tremendous moves that it's made. Um, but we, we saw this nice little pop and it's kind of similar to what we saw in Tesla to where it just had this multi-week run. You can see we bottomed out down here. This was in uh, late November of last year. So ever since then, it's just been this big old rally to the upside up about 300% from these lows um, and just moving uh, higher and higher. But what we're wanting to see is, you know, will we see this run fizzle out um, with tesla there was kind of a sign as we got close to that thousand dollar price point on the daily chart we were able to see that uh, we almost had a shooting star pattern um which i'll i'll, I'll throw that up real quick um, so that we can see that um and that kind of signaled um the the downside move so if we look here so we so we had this this quick run, again, this was a multi-week, you could call this a multi-month run, really, uh, but it really started to accelerate here towards the end, and then we had this this nice um, candle right here at the top, kind of signaling, all right, this is about to pull back, and if you looked at the trading right at the end of the day, that was also a good signal, because we pulled back a good, I think it was about 10%, right towards the end, in the last 15 minutes of that trading day, and so that's kind of what I am going to be looking for as far as a reversal here, on SPCE, uh, but as of now, we are just, I mean, continuing to rip higher. You can see we closed here on Friday, right at the high of the day, um, and it is significant. They are having uh, their their first launch into orbit uh, on the 19th, so, I mean, we're talking just four days away. I think it's next Wednesday, um, so that is, um, you know, something to keep in mind that might be you know, leading up to that point, and if all goes well, um, you know, that, that could just be one more thing that helps to push the stock higher. As far as the value of it, I do think that we are moving pretty quickly. Um, just over this past week, we've been up a good chunk, you know, we're looking at about 50% on the price. Um, you can see the PPO is really starting to curl to the upside. Uh, RSI is, is pretty high up there. So, you know, if this is one that you are trading, um, just be careful of those quick pullbacks. Um, you don't necessarily want to be caught in them because if you were to have a quick pullback, you know, it can move about 10% over the span of probably about, you know, 30 minutes. I've seen even faster moves. Um, and I think a lot of people are kind of gravitating to this, similar to what we saw with Tesla where it's just like this this vertical parabolic line to the upside and they just want to jump in and grab a few percent and leave or maybe they even hang around um, and they're you know they're going for it all and the problem with that is if this thing does reverse let's say it were to come back down um, you know from the 28 point let's say you get in at 28 and it comes all the way down here towards 23 you're looking at a 15 percent loss um, so you still just want to play it smart, but overall, there really isn't a signal to me now um, that we will see this thing, uh, you know, kind of crumble. Um, but you know, do play it safe if you are wanting to play it. Come up with a strategy um, as far as how you want to play it. As far as like a resistance goes, I would say this upward trend is going to be a nice resistance. Again, that is a pretty big fall, but you can see as we were consolidating here, we bounced on it once, twice three times before we had the nice push of momentum through this upper resistance. Um, we can call that $20 price point as being a support now. If we move this into the hourly chart, we can kind of get a better picture of that. And you can also come in here and say, you know, right around this $24 mark, even move it a little bit higher if you want, but I'm going based off of uh, this day's high. And then the next day we poked through it and then, you know, we traded right around it. So I'd consider that to be a nice support if we were to come down. Um, that might, you know, hold a little bit, 
Uh, and then you can also come down here and mark right here. You can see this was a pre-market. Let's see if we can zoom that in a little bit. We had this pre-market low based off of the previous day. Um, it looks as if we had a high pre-market there, quick dip, and then the rally up through. Here you can see that $24 price point came back down, bounced at that nice support around $22 a share, uh, and then pushed back up towards $24, and then we had the rally. So those would be some levels to look at um, as far as supports go if this thing does make a reversal. Um, also on the shorter time frame, again, once you get kind of shorter, it's not as strong as a support because um, it hasn't been tested as much. But if we were to go to, say, the one minute and we looked on Friday, um, you could say right in here, I'll move this in a little bit, right in here around the 2650 mark, maybe even 2660. Um, we'll just call it like a, a window of support um, from right in here, call it 2670 all the way down here to maybe this top and then these few bottoms down here around 26.40, so about a 30 cent support um, if we were to come down. But again, you know, those shorter time frame supports are not going to be as strong as the longer term. But nonetheless, um, you know, we'll see what SPY does as we move into next week. I'll be keeping my, on, uh, my eye on it just in case there is a good opportunity to make some money. Um, but as of now, I'm sitting on the sideline, just want to see where this goes um, and, and, you know, if, if we do see a big pullback. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you learned maybe a little bit from this video and that you're able to implement it in your own trading. So thanks for watching.